I uh, left the airport around like 6 a.m. today. Uh, it was actually, it was weird, it was actually a subway station too, so um, I didn't really get any sleep because it wasn't really the right time for me, even though I was tired, but it's biologically it's not the right time. Yeah, it was weird. I was sitting in the dark, just kind of, I guess, meditating almost, just kind of laying awake. Um, and then all of a sudden I heard like the disembodied voice of God telling me to mind the gap on the train. So I was like, all right, if I am gonna sleep at all, I'm not gonna go to sleep. Yeah, so I took the train in to Bangkok. Um, at six. And again, I couldn't check in until 2 p.m. So eight hours I had to kill. So uh, basically today was mostly just wandering around. So there wasn't as much of like an itinerary. I'm glad I have a month to kind of digest things. Like normally when I go to a city and do like street photography, I need like a day before I can really start doing stuff, um, just to kind of get in the swing of things. And here it's, part of it's like the culture shock. Like I don't really, like I don't know a single word of Thai. Um, I've been able to get by so far pretty well. Um, but uh, yeah, like I mean, when I was in Tokyo, I kind of just learned that those basic sentences you learn in language classes, like donde es la biblioteca. Um, Actually, that once you know that structure, it's pretty helpful. Um, so, like with Tokyo, I have the vocabulary. Here, I don't have any vocabulary. But I've noticed that the people here generally have the vocabulary for English that I'd be using in that scenario. So I, I, I just break it down, just like where is this? Can I have this? How much is this? Um, it's done pretty well. I don't know how much. Like I, I have been studying the alphabet. Um, it's still kind of gibberish to me. I can't like just read it. Um, I don't know if I want to invest that much time in it since I'm only a beer for a month. Stuff didn't really open until like 9, so uh, most of my day was like, just waiting until I can get Wi-Fi access because I thought that anything would be faster than the hotel that I was at last night, but it was not. Um, basically, the average upload speed in Bangkok is one, megabyte, m one megabit per second. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep these videos fairly low res in order to be able to consistently upload them. Yeah, so the trains here are pretty cheap. Like, going from the airport to central uh, Bangkok, which is like... It was like a half hour ride, it was like a, it was like a buck or something like that. I have a, it's called a rabbit card, which uh, you can use for the bus, and apparently you can use it for like different uh, fast food, I haven't tried that yet. Uh, I took a couple uh, train rides throughout the day. I went up to um, the uh, Victory Monument. monument for. I mean, obviously for victory, but I, I don't know. I'm assuming it was something to do with when Siam became Thailand. Um, again, I've had very little internet today, so I'm just kind of seeing things and just kind of taking them at face value. And then when I was uh, wandering around there, I was trying to get to this park, but I was on the wrong side of the street, so I couldn't really get over there. There's like a freeway between us. Or not a freeway, just a busy street. And then, uh, so I was walking, and there's this guy, I couldn't tell if he's homeless or what, but he was, um, you know, like one of those people that are just kind of like yelling. It's a little scarier when it's in a language you don't understand at all. Like Japanese, like I, I can grab certain words, so I can kind of get what they're saying. Like there was no one else around but me and this guy, and then he was just like yelling, and like I want to say it was more of like a uh, patriotic thing than like a religious thing, but he was just like just doing this whole rant. Yeah, so that was weird. I got around and he didn't like, he didn't bother me, which is good. Um, I went up through a garden. Um, I think it's part of the Victory Monument. Oh, so one th weird thing. Um, when I kind of, I just kind of did a loop around, and then I went to the went back to get on the train to go back where I came from, and uh, getting on. And this was only the first time this happened. It actually happened again later in the day. Um, after I got through the subway uh, turnstile, they uh, asked to like there's like a security guard to like look through my bag, which uh, um, I was kind of weird at the Victory Monument. Like I get that it's a historic place, but like. I was already at the Victory Monument and I was leaving, so it's kind of a weird thing to check for security when I'm leaving the monument. Um, but they did that again um, downtown. I guess it's just they're not used to people with bags. Yeah. And I guess I'm, I'm always sweaty and I, I'm, I'm so shifty looking. I went to the mall, it's a Terminal 21. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's an airport that's kind of modeled to look like, a, like an airport. It's a, it's a mall that's modeled to look like an airport. Um, so like each floor is a different uh, country or city, so there's like a San Francisco, there's Rome, and there's uh, the Caribbean, and there's kind of a Japanese floor. Yeah. 
Yeah, like I said, most of the day was just kind of killing time and trying to find Wi-Fi. The uh, climate here is a little more than I was expecting. I'm glad I uh, was anticipating heat and humidity as much as I could. I didn't realize how bad it would be. Like as soon as you get off the train, like my glasses fog up. Like I'm in like an 80s comedy. Like I'm a nerd who sees a pretty girl or something like that. Every time I walk outside, I'm like, it, it, it feels almost like a joke. I'm like, this is seriously how humid it is. So yeah, I walked about like eight miles. It's not too bad at night, um, but so, over the course of the second day, I walked about eight miles. So anyway, um, I got to the hostel. I kind of gave up on killing time around like uh, noon. Because I couldn't check in until two, so I just kind of, I asked them, because I was just getting tired of walking around. So I asked them if I could just like sit in the lobby until two. And they said, yeah. I asked them a couple questions language-wise. Um, so they gave me a, I don't have it with me. Um, but they gave, one of them kind of gave me a little note I could show people as far as uh, my allergies. Hopefully when I go to restaurants, I can do that. Because up until now, I actually haven't eaten anything since the airport. They had a little uh, Pomeranian. Um, and uh, it was very uh, sociable. Hey. Eventually I was able to check in around like 2 p.m. and I took a shower and then just basically slept because um, that was like 2 a.m. for me after a couple days of only having two hours of sleep here and there. So I woke up around like 11 p.m fully awake. I've been kind of wandering around um, the area. It's kind of weird. I didn't really expect it to happen that quickly, but um, so th th there's a thing here uh, called uh, Lady Boys, which is uh, basically drag queens or whatever. Um, and so I, I'm i trying to avoid eye contact when I'm walking because I'm, I'm used to like having to like tell people no as far as like uh, uh, buskers or homeless people. So I don't know if all of them were Lady Boys or if some were women because I wasn't looking at them. But uh, yeah, I, I basically got uh, propositioned for at least sex or a, a massage probably like several times today. There's a holiday going on right now. There's like a citywide like water gun fight. I was walking out because like my house was kind of in an alley of an alley and then um so there's uh, people dancing and then um there's a guy with a hose and this girl you know, started dancing with me and I was trying to be nice and then all of a sudden they started spraying me and I was like I was like, trying to say I was like my phone my phone uh but they were nice about it they stopped and then uh went to a bar called uh, I think it was just brew um so far I haven't really found any real good deals on bars yet. Kind of seems comparable. Like it's not expensive, but it's like compared to the exchange rate, it should be pretty cheap here, but it's more just like on the normal on the average end of beers in the in the US. I don't know what's going on. This is the first time I've been in what I guess it would be like a second world country. I don't know how they actually rank. Generally when I'm doing street photography, I try to avoid um, photographing homeless people. If there's some that just turn out to be a really good picture, I, I sometimes post those, but in general, I, I feel weird doing it. Um, it feels kind of exploit, exploitative. Sorry, it's been a long day. So it's a little odd getting used to being around a lot of, if not homeless, um, very uh, poor people. And so it's that combined with the fact that there's really no, there's very few crosswalks here. So um, you kind of just, make your way and kind of looking both ways and hoping that no one hits you. Um, there are a couple, but um, the uh, sidewalks are very narrow. And so a lot of, like in Tokyo or in New York or San Francisco, a lot of the pictures I've taken be on sidewalks because usually there's a big crowd and so no one really sees you. But when you're on a very narrow sidewalk, pointing a camera at someone, it's very obvious. So I haven't really done that yet. Maybe once I get more comfortable with the life here, I'll start doing it. Um, but just right now, I feel like such an outsider. It just feels dirty to do it. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess it's everything for the day. So. Ha, ha, ha.